North Point used to be a very vibrant ecosystem, but now it's a very gray and concreted area. This place is the last kind of connection that uh, local people have with the sea because they built a highway above the sea and they reclaim what used to be a beach. This place used to be actually uh, a destination for families to go and swim. But now the water is pretty stinky, I gotta say. <laughs> it's very dirty. Uh, and so what we have built is a giant floating oyster. And it's, first, it's a, it's a work of art. It's a floating artwork. But what we're also interested is that it's also a biological function. It's actually an oyster farm. So we can grow oyster underneath. And oyster are cleaning the water, filtering the water. They're also increasing biodiversity on the water and they're also absorbing the energy of waves. So they are helping us to fight against basically climate change and the erosion of sea level rise. If you are interested in eating them, uh, it's one of the least polluting uh, source of protein out there because they don't consume water and you don't need to feed them. So unlike beef that takes so much uh, space, water and food and they emit greenhouse gases, oysters do the opposite. They clean the water, they increase biodiversity, uh, that you don't need to feed them, and they're also very expensive on the market as well. This is my first go building stuff on sea, and it's, yeah, it's definitely got some unique challenges. It's so much difficult when everything is moving underneath you, like I'm, I don't have steady hands as it is, but yeah, when the, the ground's moving, the desk is moving in a different direction, I'm moving in a different direction. So some fine soldering work and wiring has definitely been a challenge. I'm proud of myself, I only got seasick one time. As you can tell, the water is extremely polluted here. And so our hope was that the oysters would survive and have to clean the water. But it turns out the water is so polluted here, most of them died already. So that's the first finding is that for this particular species of oysters, this water it's just too polluted, it's so not working well. The second thing you want to see is above there we have solar panels and those panels uh, are powering this battery here. And then this battery uh, is powering electrolysis uh, machine. And then on one side we produce hydrogen and the other side we produce oxygen. The Ocean Imagineer uh, is quite a complex uh, experiment for a lot of people because it's trying to be three things at the same time. It's trying to be an artwork, inspiring and asking questions, collaboration with the artist Kei Wong. At the same time, it's trying to uh, make an engineering statement, trying to produce solar energy and hydrogen offshore, which is the first in Asia. And the third, we're trying to figure out which is the best biology uh, to clean Hong Kong water and increase biodiversity, marine biodiversity. And so I guess that's the biggest challenge is get the people to understand that you can do the three things at the same time. You can do art, uh, science and engineering into one project. And so I hope that people see this and they understand, OK, this is possible to do that. And then we get a chance to make it even bigger uh, and better in the future. So, yeah, that's our hope. See the imagine. Wait, 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 us, us. <laughs> Just one second. Okay, now we're gonna go. Because now it's getting windy. Okay, so we go this way. Okay, we're gonna go together, okay? Okay. 